Hey, hola amigos, welcome to Colombia. Colombia is a hot spot for travelers right now. So for this video, I've teamed up with Hostel World to show you around the capital city of Bogota. And if you're not already familiar, Hostel World is the website and mobile app that I use to find and book hostels wherever I'm traveling. Now, I want to tell you about my experience in Bogota, but I want to find a place to sit and talk to you, so let's go find a nice place. Boom, all right, cool. So I found a nice spot in nature. I want it to be outside. I like the outdoors. I want to tell you some cool things to do around Bogota because I had an amazing experience. There's so many cool things to do, so let's get into it. First, I actually want to show you where I stayed when I was there. Of course, I stayed in a hostel, a very social atmosphere, and it was a very beautiful place. I actually took over the Hostel World Instagram story for a day and it looked a little like this. So every day there's a different event that happens here. And have a beautiful little hangout area. Hey, hey. <laughs> there's another common area down here. People chilling. Cool, cool, so beautiful. And then outside, there's another area. <laughs> Such a beautiful place. So they do have shared dorm rooms here, but you can also get a private room like I'm in right now. Check this out. Woo. Private bed, beautiful painting, TV that I'm never gonna watch, and a private bathroom, which is pretty sweet. So this hostel is called Messiah Hostel, and it's in an area called La Candelaria, which seems to be a very central location for most travelers, as there are plenty of places to stay and many things to do. So let's get into that. So the first thing, well, one of the first things I recommend you do is what's called the walking tour. Just met some new fellas from the hostel. Say what's up. What's, what's up, up, guys? <laughs> so right now, we are going on a little walking tour. And we're bringing you around Bogota. Let's go. Now, there are a few different companies that offer walking tours, but the one I did was with a company called Grand Columbia Tours. It's called a free walking tour, but it is tip-based, so it's not really free. The suggested tip is between 20,000 and 40,000 Colombian pesos. And this tour runs twice a day, one at 10 a.m. and one at 2 p.m., and it meets at the plaza near Messiah Hostel, and there's no need to book in advance, you just show up and look for the yellow umbrella. The whole tour is about two and a half hours, and in terms of things to do around here, I would suggest starting with this as you learn a lot about the history of Colombia, and you can familiarize yourself with the area by walking around with a local guide. The first hour of the tour starts with a brief taste test of some of the local delicacies. So okay, let's try it over here. It's chicha, which is an indigenous drink here in Colombia. Chicha. It's quite good. It's a little sour, a little tart, but really good. So now we're learning all about the coca leaf. It's very well known for its medical purposes and also some spiritual purposes as well. And right here we have some... Whoa! <laughs> Don't drop I almost it. Almost didn't have it anymore. Almost dropped it. Some cake made from coca leaf. Coca leaf flour. Coca leaf flour. Okay. Coca leaf flour, exactly. So actually to make the cake, you need the coca leaf flour, you mix it with normal flour, then you put butter, then you put a little bit of sugar, and boiling powder, so you can actually make the cake. It's very easy, mm. but delicious. Tastes good. And the remaining time is spent walking around the city as your guide brings you to some iconic places and shares the history of Colombia. So the neighborhood that we're staying in is called La Candelaria, and that's actually named after this church right here. Hmm. For the best view of Bogota, you need to visit Manserrate. So right now we're waiting in line to go up to Manserrate, which is the highest point here in Bogota. And I'm joined by some friends I just met in my hostel. Can you guys introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Janky from London. Lawrence from New York. Eric from Germany. Cool. There's a couple ways to get, well I think there's actually three ways to get up top. You can either hike, you can take a cable car, or you can take a tram. And I was hoping to take the cable car, but apparently the cable car doesn't start until noon and it's about 10 a.m. right now, so we're about to take the tram to get to the top. <laughs> so we made it to the top. <laughs> it's pretty windy and significantly colder up here, so good thing we brought jackets. And this view is incredible. <laughs> oh my goodness. The wild nature over here into the developed city down there. It's really interesting. So aside from the beautiful view, another main attraction here at Maserat is this big church. And there's actually a mass going on right now inside. Wow, check this out. There's also 
a market up here. Hey. <laughs> Water bottle. Made out of a goat. Is that a goat or a cow? I don't know. <laughs> Getting interviewed by a local student practicing English. Hello, what is your name? My name is Steve. And where do you live? I live in New York. In New York? You recommend this place of your friends, your family, your. Yeah. yeah. I recommend you to come here too. Okay, very thanks. Yeah. So at the top of the mountain here, there's markets and also a bunch of restaurants. So we took a little pit stop. I got some soup. This is actually one of the national soups here in Colombia. It's called ajiaco. It has chicken, three types of potatoes, sweet corn, and cream on top. Also it comes with some rice and some avocado to top it off. <laughs> <laughs> so after Monserrate, we went to a place called Plaza de Mercado de Paracamao. Woo! That took me a while to get that name right. It's a really cool market and it's a little bit different than your typical tourist destination. And before I show you what it's like there, I just want to quickly mention what transportation is like here in Bogota. There are taxis available around Bogota, but there is also Uber. So this is pretty much just more convenient safer and typically cheaper as well. There's a great bus system in this city, which is really interesting because the bus has its own lane in the middle of the highway, so it's really convenient. If you want any information about how to take the bus and where to get it, just ask the reception at your hostel or wherever you're staying because they'll be happy to help you and they're the best people with a wealth of information because they live there and they know the city. So enough about transportation, let's go to the market. Okay, so right now we're in Plaza de Mercado de Paracamao and it is one of the largest fruit markets here in Bogota, Colombia. We're gonna go explore, there's some unique fruits here so I'm excited to try some. What is this? So this is something called Lulo. It's um, a fruit in Colombia that they make drinks out of, so you get juices all over the street. Looks very interesting. Put the seeds inside. <laughs> Let's go for it. Super, super, super. His face is going to be like... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> super, super. It's Lulo. sour. Sour. Super, super sour. It's good though. With the fancy slow open. Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> this is slimy. <laughs> Get it out of the thing. How would you define that taste? It's really good. It's, it's good, like custard apple. Like, sure, let's go with that. But like a little bit more citrusy. It's slimy, but it's good. <laughs> Ooh, that is interesting. Hey. It's like a cross between a mango and a melon. It kind of is. <laughs> so we found some local women to hang out with. Salud. Now another really popular destination for tourists is what's called Zipaquira. And sorry if I'm not pronouncing things correctly, but I'm trying my best here. And Zipaquira is a salt mine. All right, miner Steve, going to work here. Hi ho. Hi-ho, it's off to work, we go. And it's not just a salt mine, they actually turned it into a set of cathedrals. It's all based around the Catholic religion and there's carvings of crosses and you can take a tour and learn all about that. There's a few different options for tours. So the basic tour is just a tour of the cathedral part of it and you see all the religious things associated with it. For an extra few dollars, you can pay to take a tour of the actual salt mine. All right, we're going on a private tour of the salt mine. Me, 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 me. They put you through a series of tests where you're walking through and like pretending as if you were working in the salt mines. The miners left us a literal lifeline, that's what he said. So we're going to not put our lights on yet. Okay. The beginning is just dark, and then he'll indicate to us when we're gonna put the lights on, but we're just gonna follow with our right hand this rope one at a time. Which was pretty cool, it was a great experience, but that wasn't offered in English. Luckily, I was with a girl who I met from my hostel who was fluent in Spanish. Ba -ba. Hello. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Maddie. From? San Francisco. Cool. So she was able to translate everything that the tour guide was telling us. Now, my honest opinion about this place, it's a little bit expensive and it's far away. It's about two and a half hours from where I was staying. If you miss this, not a big deal, but it is really cool. So if, if you're into learning about what salt mines are like and seeing underground cathedrals, it is very beautiful. 
so you can kind of decide whether or not you want to do that. There are also plenty of museums around Bogota. Personally, I'm not very excited about museums, so I kind of skipped over that. Feel free to look into that, but I didn't go to that, so I'm not going to show you. But one of my favorite things I did was just hanging around my hostel, honestly. Every night, there was a different event at Messiah Hostel. One night, we had a cooking class. All right, we're back at the hostel now, and we have a cooking class with a bunch of people. Say what's up, everybody! Hey. We're learning how to make empanadas today. Let's do it. Okay, step one, you get some dough. Roll it up like this. Step two, you take this nice, lovely ball and put it right here and squish it. Now the next step is to take some of this potato con queso, roll it up like this. Beautiful. Okay, now that we have a nice little hump right here, we take the bowl and just whoosh it down like that. I hope I'm doing this right. Okay, it's bueno. It's bueno. Hey, perfecto. Now our next step is to fry this bad boy. Ay, ay, ay. Look how good this came out. Now we need to top it with some avocado cheese and some mayo. Moment of truth, let's see how it came out. It's broken. That's juicy. Ooh! Muy bueno. Oh! He's a great teacher right here. I couldn't have done it without him. Gracias, Mario. Don't worry, Steve. Muy delicioso. And every Sunday night they have a live band which they actually invite anyone to come jam out with them, so for a few hours they're just jamming and such cool vibes, great music. So that's what I did in Bogota. My experience was amazing. I loved the city. I was there for a total of five days and that's a good amount of time to spend there if you have less no worries you can still knock out a lot to do there and in the beginning I mentioned that I've teamed up with Hostel World to make this video honestly I use Hostel World everywhere I travel just because I always stay in hostels anyway so if you do plan on traveling definitely recommend looking into Hostel World because that's how you find hostels I'm so excited to take you around Colombia the next video will also be teaming with Hostel World and it's gonna be in Medellin so I'll see you there peace I'm getting some Spanish lessons from these students here. Hola! Hello! They're making me say things in Spanish that don't really know what I'm saying. Colombia es una chimba! Colombia es una chimba! Colombia es una chimba!